Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right, I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. Hello, hello, it's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. I am under the weather a little bit. <laughs> And I wanted to share this story with you. And um, I have a home health aide that comes and takes care of me uh, one, two, three times a week. I also have a home health nurse that comes once a week. And that's porter calf, stuff like that, for different care and meds. And so uh, I've had different aids over the years and all of them uh, have been blessings from God. And I say that because I'm not a complainer and even the ones that things didn't work out, we still left on, a, on good footing. I wish them the best, but I need a certain kind of person. And sometimes you have to, you know, dip and choose until you find the perfect one. And so, I've always had AIDS for quite a distance of time, the same one, until uh, sometimes when you get in the hospital, the continuity of care has changed. Uh, that's one thing about the VA is um, uh, the continuity of care is not there. So, you have to be your own advocate, especially when you have things set up a certain way and then you... Um, if you get sick and you go in the hospital, a lot of people don't know that. Your home health with that agency doesn't be continuous unless you become your own advocate and uh, reach out to one of the healthcare uh, nurses who uh, is in your group who can help and while you're in the hospital so that you can maintain that same home health agency. Because if not, then what happens is you are um, awarded a new home health agency. And that's what happened two AIDS ago. Uh, I was in the hospital and um, it was me and uh, I was really sick. And so when the advocate, the patient advocate came to the room to do the paperwork, uh, my daughter just, did everything for me and I didn't think anything of it. I just was trying to get better. I was trying to get stronger. So uh, I was with that agency for a long time and everybody there was really uh, nice to me and they took great care of me. So I started a, a brand new agency and I have been blessed with great aids. Now the, the first aid that I had with uh, this new agency, uh, she was the best thing ever happened to me. And uh, she was Nigerian. Uh, she cooked beautiful Nigerian food and brought it to me. Okay. <laughs> she was very nurturing. Uh, and she did a lot of things that wasn't uh, requested of her uh, in the paperwork. 
Like she did a lot of cleaning for me. I really miss that. She really, um, she did things because she lives a certain way. So uh, she was trying to uh, get her daughter here to Jacksonville. Her daughter is in Nigeria with her sister. And so um, eventually I knew she would have to go back to Nigeria to take care of all those things. And there was no line of how long it would be. So next they gave me Jess and that's who I have now. And I know I don't even know what to say about her. She is a blessing from God too. I'm not sure. Sometimes I say, oh, I'm struggling. I'm in so much pain. And I'd be like, I'm so tired and I have to catch myself and say, okay, it's somebody who would love to be walking around, you know? And so I have to catch myself, but on days like this, when I'm, it's hard to catch my breath, it's hard to get my bearings, it's hard to keep food down. And I just be so tired. So my aide came and, you know, she do all the things for me, help me with my bath and stuff. And so I ate some tomato soup with a cheese toast sandwich. I got a couple of bites in. I was trying to get something down. And she said, well, you got to eat something. You could, you didn't really eat this. And I told her, I, I just want me some, something that will stick to my ribs. You know, I want some to stick to my ribs. And I just don't feel like making it. She said, well, what do you want? And I said, I just want to lay down. So... She left. She took what she did for me and she left. And then I, I got a text on the phone say she on my way over here and I asked her, was everything okay? And she said, yeah, I just want to check on you one more time. I said, you don't have to come all the way back over here because she left toward the beach. And so she was like, I'm already on my way. So th the truth of the matter is she is delightful. She's uh, easy to talk to. And I live alone, so I appreciate everything that she do for me. So, <coughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. So, she get here, and that's the whole purpose of the video. To one, tell you that God will bless you in so many different ways. He bring people in you in He bring good people in your life when you need them. And so I can barely get my words out. So she came and she had a bag and she had like a a bucket and I'm like what is she doing so she handed me this container this is what she handed me and I said well what is this and she said I cooked you something to eat and the the heat was still coming off and I said you you didn't have to do that what do you do that for and she said because I wanted to help you out Give me a minute. Let me get myself together. I wanted to show you what she brought. She brought, she made the chicken. She made the rice. She made my favorite French string beans and some macaroni pasta. And that's what she made for me. And then this wrapped up is some fresh cornbread. I, I just can't the words, you guys. See what I'm saying? A full meal. I haven't even eaten it yet because I said I better do this now or or I won't I won't do it because I'll either forget or it won't be as fresh in my heart. And so, like I said, she had the bag with the food. And in her right hand, she had a bucket. And I'm like, what are you doing? 
and uh, she had a daughter with her now. When I say daughter, she's not a baby. Her daughter is like 25. And she a sweetie too. She um, is a home health aide as well. And she came with her mama. And so I met her before. And so it was nice and we were sitting and talking. Then I just heard things moving and stuff. And I, said, I hollered in the back. I said, Jess, what you doing? She said, I'm cleaning your bathroom. She came here with a bucket and cleaning supplies and cleaned my tub for me. She cleaned that entire bathroom for me. I ain't got the strength to walk back there, but I had to share with you that God helps in different ways. What is your prayer today? What is your prayer? And I always start my day off with gratitude and thankfulness where I say, thank you, Father God, for waking me up. I always say, Thank you, Father God, for opening my eyes this morning so I can see, so I can be here, you know. And then the pain a hit or something, and I'll be, ooh, Jesus, give me the strength to get up. Thank you, Father. Give me the strength to move my affirmations, Father. Give me the strength to clean these dishes. Give me the strength for this very simple prayers. And... I always just ask to be surrounded around people who gonna bring the positivity, but at the same time are uh, on the same page where they love and care for you. You have to remember that's part of the blessing. And I just, I have a lot of pain. I go through a lot, but you know what? The angels that surround me, the people that God have walked into my life at the right time, have shown me that there are angels on earth. And you might be thinking, oh, that's just a plate of food, or she just cleaned that bathroom. But she has seen me at my worst, and she's seen me at my best. And she saw today was a hard day for me. So I'm finna eat that food, okay? Ugh. But I just wanted to share with you, if you have anybody in your life who stops for a minute to just show you their appreciation for you, the way she does on a daily basis with me, stop what you're doing and tell them thank you. I sent her a beautiful text message. And the next time that I go out, I'm going to give an empty thank you card and I'm going to write out all the feelings that are in my heart right now. She is such a blessing. So this video is simply a appreciation video where it's just a reminder. That's all I ever do on this channel is I be as honest as I can. But I also give you reminders of things that I'm reminding myself on a daily basis that you have to show thanks to people who give of their time, their effort and their love for you. Have you done that today? Have you called a person? Have you texted a person? Have you wrote a letter? Have you sent a thank you card? Just stop what you're doing right now and send a text message to your care provider and tell them, thank you for taking care of me. I know it's your job, but I also know that you go extra. And that's what Jess does for me. And she brought her daughter too. So they clean in my house. It was just it was just almost too much for me to bear. I couldn't barely speak. You understand what I'm saying? A blessing from God. So I am blessed. I don't have a lot of things. I'm good about that. I'm for frugal. I'm a minimalist. That doesn't bother me. I am blessed abundantly. In so many ways, sometime where I just have to stop and say, thank you, Father God. Everybody he putting in my path has enriched my life in such a positive way. So wherever you headed today, wherever you're going, be kind, be considerate, and treat people with dignity and respect. It always come back tenfold. You know what I'm saying? So at this time, I like to breathe in and breathe out in order for me to start my day. But as you heard, my day has already started. So for you, let's breathe in and breathe out. I'm 
We thank you, Father, for another day. We thank you, Father. We are so grateful for all the people who are surrounding us, Father God. We thank you for bringing the right people at the right time in our life. So wherever you headed today, to work, to school, or to pick up your food, okay? Be happy, be joyful, and put a smile on your face because there is always somebody worse off than you, okay? So have a good day, have a blessed day, and remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon.